Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and welcome to episode 8 of our DCS F-18C Hornet Academic Series. In previous videos, we took a look at starting up the Hornet, taxiing and taking off, and the navigation systems. But now we're going to move on to the fun stuff, the weapons. For this first episode on the weapons, we're going to take a look at the air-to-ground rockets, and then the air-to-ground HUD. Let's get started. Okay, so we're here in the cockpit of the Hornet now, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set the master arm switch to arm, and the master mode switch to air to ground, or AG. Now here on the left DDI, we're going to go ahead and select the storage page. Now, along the uh, top of the storage page, or the storage management system page, you have the different air to ground weapons that are loaded. Uh, in this case, we have two different types of rocket pods loaded. The uh, Lao-10, which are loaded with Zuni rockets, uh, 10R, and Lao 68, 68, which are loaded with uh, 2.75 inch rockets. Uh, the R, after each one of those, indicates ripple mode, meaning that each time you uh, fire one of these rockets, the entire load of the rocket will be expended, not just one rocket. Uh, below that, we have the wing form of the aircraft, which indicates the loading of each station. Uh, in this case, we have 10 R's on the outsides, and we have 68 R's on the inside. On the wingtip, we have AIM-9M, uh, we have 578 gun rounds, a fuel tank, and we are in master arm mode. Now, upon selecting, say, a 10R with the Zunis, we now see that the rocket pod is ready, and we have two different delivery modes available. A CCIP, which stands for Continuously Computed Impact Point, which you have a center uh, pipper dot in the middle. You simply fly to place the pipper uh, dot over the target, wait for in range, and pull the trigger and the rounds will land where you aim. Uh, below that you have manual mode, which we'll take a look at here in a minute. And then below that we have options for either single mode or salvo mode. When in single mode, it just a single uh, pod will fire, or if in salvo mode, uh, the pod selected and its corresponding pod on the other wing will all fire at the same time. Now, moving to the uh, HUD, we have our aiming reticle with the pipper in the center, and we have the uh, pull-up cue right here. And on the right side, we have the mode, in this case, CCIP, and rockets, and we have 44 rounds ready to go. Okay, so let's go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and pause. And we'll go ahead and roll, on, roll in on target here. And what we're going to do is, as um, we roll in, we're going to place the pipper over the target, and as range uh, decreases, the range uh, indication on the reticle will start to unwind uh, until we see the in-range cue. We see the in-range cue, we make sure the pipper's over the target, and we press the uh, weapon release uh, uh, button to fire those rockets. So let's go ahead and roll in. And generally looking for an entry speed of about 400 knots. And we see some trucks down here. Altitude. That's our soft altitude we're passing through. You see the range cue coming down, in range, and fire. Pull up uh, 5G, and roll off the target. And Rocket CCIP really is as simple as that. Very, very simple system to use. Um, as I mentioned before, you have the pull-up cue, and if the vertical velocity vector is below the pull-up cue, you'll get a break X. And that simply means that you're going to either uh, potentially fly in the frag pattern of the weapon or potentially impact the ground. Uh, both of those are a very bad idea. Now we talked a little bit about the uh, manual mode. Let's take a quick look at that. So if we place ourselves in manual mode, we have a USC button here. We'll press that, and now we have reticle, and we're going to press that again. And now what we can do is, using the uh, keypad, we can enter the amount of mills that we want to uh, manually place the pipper below its bore sight line. So in this case, let's make it uh, 50 degrees, or 50 mills, enter, and we see that indication here, and the pipper moved down to 50 mils below its uh, bore sight line. And you know, just like the F5 or the L39, if you know your airspeed or dive angle and altitude, and using the 
uh, data charts, you can actually get a pretty accurate weapon delivery. But in the most cases, uh, most of you will, I'm sure, will be using CCIP 99% of the time. Now let's go ahead, we're going to select the uh, LAL 68 with a 2.75. And this time we're going to go ahead and select Salva mode. And now both of the stations on both wings are selected. And you'll see what that's going to look like here in a second. And this is a quicker way to get a lot of rocket rounds downrange fast. In addition to the uh, LAO-10, LAO-68, there are also uh, LAO-61 pods also available. And we see we have uh, 40 rockets available. And what you'll see is when I fire, you're going to see rockets coming from both wings at the same time uh, this time. We're also a little closer to a, um, a pull-up queue. Waiting for in range, a little closer closer and fire. And that's a world of hurt. Pull up to five and roll off. So there's the basic ins and out of uh, unguided rocket delivery in both CCIP and manual mode. So now let's take a look at the gun. Uh, the first thing is, so if we have a weapon selected up here and we press gun, we go into what's called hot gun mode. And as you may have noticed, up here on the HUD, we have a cross, and that's a fixed bore sight line of the HUD. And by pressing the uh, trigger, we can fire the gun, and by rockets, we use the weapon release. So you can essentially use two weapons at the same time. But if we don't have a weapon selected up here and we have gun, now we place the gun into air to ground mode in either CCIP or manual mode. And it's going to be operating almost identical to how we just demonstrated with the rockets. So let's take a look at that in CCIP mode. Uh, the difference is here on the DDI, we can select the different round type loaded, and we have options for both low and high uh, fire rate. And it's going to be a very low angle pass, so I'm probably going to get the break X here in a second. And there you go. Well, I'll go ahead and ignore that. Pull up and off. And those are the basic ins and outs of using unguided rockets in the AG gun. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Thanks.